Good evening, my friends. I have a note on brain rewiring and health and transformation and how the three link together. I had a conversation with someone today, briefly, maybe it was yesterday, about working with me. And I was saying that, you know, if you're ready for transformation, I'm, I'm the right person for you. And this person replied saying that, saying, Something along the lines of, I'm not going to lie, I'm looking for health and vitality. As if those were somehow different or separate. And I realized that a lot of, I, I, probably a lot of people don't link the two together naturally. So I want to lay something out on a pretty basic level here when it comes to brain rewiring and your health and vitality and transformation and this deeper journey that I talk a lot, a lot about on here and how they're linked together because they're very much linked. Um, I focus mainly on the process because that's what gets you to the outcome. You know, that's the main thing. Your process is what gets you to the outcome. So I talk a lot about that, but I want to link them together tonight. So if your limbic system, the protective part of your brain has crosswired to the point that it is perceiving basic things you need for your well-being, like sunlight and other people and food and sleep and basic things like that as dangerous instead of life-giving, as life-threatening instead of life-giving, you're going to have a very hard time cultivating well-being and health and vitality. If your limbic system has cross-wired basic things you need to survive and thrive as life-threatening, it is going to require a transformation of you as a person to reach a point where your brain and nervous system and limbic system are perceiving the world around you and the sensory input around you as life-giving so that you can be well and have that health and vitality. They are one and the same. It is not separate. That's one of the biggest things overall in coaching that I see is folks are so focused on the outcome that they're trying to skip the process. <laughs> it doesn't work. So I just really encourage you, you know, here and on my YouTube channel where, you know, in my coaching and this process as a whole, the reason I focus so much on the process itself and on the things that are required, like courage or surrender or trust or faith or love, things like that, is because those are the things that allow us to create a new visceral perception of our environment so that we can heal, so that we can, so that your brain and nervous system know that things like sunlight and food and, you know, sleep and other people and all those things are safe and good and life giving, and that you're also calm enough and feel safe enough to be able to receive those things fully. Um, they're not separate. That's the main message I just want to give, give to you guys tonight is if you want to see those outcomes, it's like getting in a car to go somewhere. If you want to get, if you want to go somewhere, make sure you've got a car, there's gas in it and you've got a plan. You've got the map. And that's the point though, is the trip. You got to focus on the drive, focus on the road in front of you, not where you're going. All right. Love you guys.